Welcome to the Applied Biosystems TAC Talk video series, where we break down real-time PCR to make it easier for you. Here's a question I get a lot from real-time PCR users. How do I accurately measure the PCR efficiency of my assay? Well, in theory, checking efficiencies is pretty easy, but in practice, it could be a challenge. Let's start with the basics. To measure the efficiency of an assay, you need to run a template dilution curve in real time and look at the slope of the curve. That slope value, assuming you prepare the curve properly, tells you the efficiency. If the slope is negative 3.3, the assay is amplifying at or very near 100%, which is exactly what we want in a quantitative real-time PCR. But if the value is more negative than this, say negative 3.7, then the efficiency will be less than 100%. There's actually a formula into which you can plug the slope and get your numerical efficiency. Happily, the newer Applied Biosystems Instrument software does the efficiency calculation for you. Go to Result, Standard Curve, and there it is. Now, here's the thing. I see a lot of cases where people make mistakes preparing their dilution curves. As a result, they calculate incorrect efficiencies. So, what I want to do is give you 10 suggestions on how to improve the accuracy of your dilution curves. 10. Use a well-calibrated pipette. 9. Serially dilute the standard material. 8. For absolute quantification, always use an appropriate standard material. 7. Mix your standards thoroughly after each dilution. 6. Pipette larger volumes for better precision. 5. Run each dilution point at least three times in real time. Four, use a minimum of five dilution points, each of which has at least a tenfold dilution. Three, after the run, check your R squared, look for outliers, and omit them. Two, if the curve has more than one or two outliers, or if the spacing between any of your points is irregular, redo the dilution and repeat the entire curve. One, have more than one person run a curve the first time to make sure that the results are in agreement. One good thing to be aware of is that all the Applied Biosystems TACMAN assays, Thermo Fisher scientific cells, are designed to work at or near 100% efficiency. In fact, we tested thousands of them and published the results in an application note titled Amplification Efficiency of TACMAN Gene Expression Assays. It's pretty cool. This document is available for download on the Thermo Fisher website. I hope you found this helpful for your research. You can check out more Applied Biosystems TAC Talk videos on our website at thermofisher.com slash TAC Talk.